good evening and welcome to Paulding High School, where tonight on WLSM we've got a sectional semi-final for you as the road to Dayton begins between the 12th-seeded Salina Bulldogs and the 11th-seeded Bath Wildcats. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scoop Miller, and we've got all the action for you tonight. And Scoop, we've got a, a matchup from a, a game that was previously played between two Western Buckeye Lake foes earlier this year. The Salina won in a tight one in late January, and uh, two somewhat evenly matched squads as we head in here to the road to Dayton. It really is, and that game back on January 20th, won by the Salina Bulldogs, was the last win for Salina. They've lost yeah. eight straight since then, but feeling uh, they have to be a little bit confident. In fact, they've already knocked off uh, this Bath team one time, but certainly Bath would love to get revenge tonight in the game that's probably most important for both these schools. So we'll take a look now at their starting lineups. First for the Bulldogs, 3-19 and 19, as we set out of the Western Buckeye Lake. 3-6 and six they finished the season. Adam Johns in his third season leading the Bulldogs. Their starters look like this. Caleb Gavis is a junior guard. He'll wear number one, averages seven points a contest. Braylon Gavis, another junior guard. He'll wear number three. The honorable mention All-Western Buckeye League performer averages 11 and a half points per game. Grant Duncan is a junior guard. He wears number five. Carter Allstetter and Caden Wurtz round out the starting five for the Bulldogs. Allstetter wears number 11 and Wurtz wears number 23. For the Bath Wildcats, 4-17 and 17 out of the Western Buckeye League, 1-8 and eight in the WBL. Sean Powell leads the cl club for his second season. Drake Craddock, Western Buckeye League all-third team performer, the 5'9 sophomore guard, wears number one. Cole Craddock is a 5'9 sophomore guard. He'll wear number three. Trey Crawford, a 5'11 junior, stands inside the center circle, ready to tip off as the tip off is won by the Bulldogs. Xavier Tickle, or excuse me, Mitch Barr and Logan Mark Markley are the starters for the Bath Wildcats. Salina wins the tip-off in their green uniforms, and they'll work it around the perimeter as Wurtz holds it at the high left point. Gives back to Grant Duncan. He'll work to his right. Thought about picking up the dribble. Did. And the Bulldogs are working around the perimeter as the Wildcats come out in a little zone to start the game. Yeah, aggressive zone as well, trying to force Salina to shoot everything over the top. Right to the rack for Caleb Gavis is up and good, and he gets the Bulldogs on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard first. A great start for the Bulldogs. They got everybody involved on the offensive end. Good ball reversal, good patience, and a great take by the junior, Gavis. Drake Craddock, Cole Craddock, I beg your pardon, at the top of the key. He'll work left. Jackson Foster had his pass stolen away. Gavis stripped in the lane somehow. Oh, nearly a great play there by Drake Craddock. Got the strip, tried to get back in bounds to poke it back in play. They'll see he stepped on the end line, so the ball remains with the Bulldogs. Yeah, great hustle play by Craddock that saved an easy run out by Caleb Gavis. Inbound right to Braylon Gavis, and he'll drop one in. And it's a 4-0 lead for the Bulldogs. Just over a minute gone. Well, great execution. Now the out-of-bounds set underneath their own hoop. And uh, both Gabus have easy hoops early on. Drake Craddock kicks in the near corner. Three on the way from Jackson Foster. A little long. Out of play. And we'll get a conference, a discussion on who it went out of. I thought it hit a guy in green. And they'll say it remains with Bath. Yeah, nice to see him talking over there with the officials. They got it right. Uh, went off one of the Bulldogs there fighting for the backside positioning on that rebound. Craddock between the circles. Drake Craddock, I should say. Mitch Barr on the left wing. He'll hold for just a moment. Puts it on the deck to the top of the key. Foster replaces him. Trey Crawford bounces in that far corner. Drake Craddock off a screen for three. Off his side iron and a rebound secured by Braylon Gavis of Salina. Duncan back to Gavis. He'll throw left to Caden Wurst into that far corner to Caleb Gavis. Approaching two minutes gone. Bulldogs only ones on the Wabash Mutual scoreboard. Backdoor pass in the lane to Gavis. Stolen away as Caleb Gavis lost the handle on it. Craddock. Bar in the near corner for three. Left it short. Rebound though comes out to Trey Crawford. He'll kick. Foster plenty of time to set up for three. Splashes it home. Well, yeah, nice looking Jay by the 6-1 sophomore Jackson Foster after the Wildcats were able to get an extra possession there via the offensive rebound. Big hoop there by Bath. Makes it a one-point game. 
Braylon Davis drives baseline near side. Great positioning by the junior. All-Western Buckeye League honorable mention performer has four of Solana six. Yeah, big time move that time by Braylon Gabus and another excellent finish inside. Cole Craddock's throw into the hands of a Salina Bulldog. Doesn't matter. He's called for the offensive foul. That'll be the first foul committed by either squad. Marcel saying he just stepped out of bounds. If one official gave the old charge call, but he was awful tight to that baseline as well. So the Bulldogs inbound. Stripped away, out of play off bath. Great pressure put on there by Logan Markley, the 6'1 freshman. Nearly got a steal there in the backcourt. Caleb Gavis across the timeline, left to the center circle. Gets it right back on the right wing. Tries to break down the defender at the free throw line, back to the basket. Faces once more. Bulldogs. Looking for another bucket, trying to extend that lead in the far corner as Keaton Wernst has it. Right in the center circle, he'll bounce. Gavis. Back in the far corner to Duncan. Finds a wide open Bulldog at the free throw line as Carter Allstetter gave it up. Ball's loose on the deck, still loose. Now we get a jump ball call and the possession arrow points towards Bath. Yeah, great defensive uh, possession that time by Bath. And I love how Coach Powell here early has switched back to a very aggressive man-to-man -man after giving up three easy buckets uh, early on. Now the tenacity has picked up on defense. And now uh, Bath an opportunity to make it a one-point game or tie with the three. Cole Craddock on the left wing into the near corner. Trey Crawford. Wildcats get it back to Crawford on the left wing. He'll drive to the left elbow, back to the basket. And hands off to Xavier Tickle. Wildcats continue to work around the perimeter as we approach the midway point of this first, first quarter. 6-3. Craddock right down the left side of the lane. Can't drop it in. And a rebound secured by Carter Allstetter of Salina. Bulldogs come back the other way. As Braylon Gavis picks it up at a tough spot, gets rid of it back to Caleb Gavis. Duncan, near corner. Gavis off a screen. Braylon Gavis, silky smooth on the mid-range jumper. He's got six already. Boy, he's looking real comfortable in half-court set. Right now, the uh, Gavis twins have all eight points. Of course, six of them come from Braylon. The other two from Caleb. Wildcats with 3.20 to go in this first half. First quarter, I beg your pardon. Nearly stolen away. Ball's loose. It is stolen away. Duncan. Hits the deck hard. Foul committed by Trey Crawford. Yeah, great job by Duncan. And right now, Salina doing all the little things. They're getting not only a good ball pressure, but they're getting some points from their defense. That time they forced a turnover. And the only thing that stopped a breakaway layup was a foul. But again, probably a good foul. But again, you have to like how Salina is really making things happen from their defense here in the early going. Landon Ackley, a senior guard in the game for the Bulldogs, as Allstetter will take a seat. Caleb Davis, his pass stolen away. Mitch Barr, it's a race back to the window the other way from the left side, can't hit. We got the rebound comes down on the end line. Oh, that's a tough break. It looked like uh, Bath was going to get two points from yep. their defense. They had a good look there, just couldn't get the uh, bunny to go down. Then the offensive rebound, a little bit too much momentum. They land on the end line. Tough break. Slina a chance to uh, extend this lead. Bulldogs have had the basketball a long time here in his first quarter. Gavis hit the free throw line. Kicks back out to Caden Wurtz. Hackley near corner. Selective with his pass. Braylon Gavis, left wing. Back to the basket. Spins. Kicks. As Isaac Razavir. In a tough spot along that far sideline. Threw a pass too high for Caleb Davis. And that's a turnover by the Bulldogs. And once again, great ball pressure by the Wildcats to force that uh, tough skip pass from the baseline. A little bit too much air underneath it. And now Bath will get an opportunity to cut into that uh, five-point deficit after the turnover forced by an aggressive man-to-man uh, -man defense. Eight to three the score. Bulldogs with the lead, Wildcats with the basketball as Drake Craddock rises and fires from the free, free from the three-point line, I beg your pardon. 
Off the back iron, and a rebound secured by Razevere. As Gabus right down Main Street, right hand floater is good. Braylon Gabus, eight first quarter points. Well, that's a sweet move by the junior Gabus, and he came in averaging 11 and a half points a game, already has eight. And once again, now Caleb Gabus in transition. Markley's three off the mark. Bulldogs with the basketball. Under two minutes to go. Gabus from the free throw line once more. Everything's fallen for Braylon Gabus here in the first quarter. Give him an even 10. Well, you have to love it. He's playing with so much confidence at that time. He won the ball in his hands once he got it. Made a nice move and another mid-range jumper to go. Craddock got past the defender. Couldn't hit. Bulldogs come back quickly in transition. Three on three. Gabus stripped out of play off of a wildcat. Yeah, great transition defense that time by the Wildcats, particularly uh, Xavier Tickle that time. Took away the uh, breakaway from Gabus. But right now, if you're Salina, you got to keep your foot to the pedal here. You always want to try to extend the lead, get some separation when things are going your way. In the first six and a half minutes, it's been exactly what the Bulldogs have wanted. They rocket a pass in the lane to Jake Kanapke. He puts it up and in, and the lead is 11 at 14-3 for Salina. A uh, great finish by Kanapke. Comes in averaging less than a point a game. That's a big deuce right there. The lead swells to double digits here as we near the one-minute mark of this opening quarter. Craddock, free throw line. Tickle for three from the right wing. Yes, and he'll stop the bleeding. Well, that's a big answer that time by Xavier Tickle. Nice looking three there. 14 to 6, under a minute to go. Baseline drive, floater off the mark from Wernst. No, and a rebound. Comes down to Bath. They'll sprint up the floor as Cole Craddock goes to the window. Got the hoop. No, he got the charge call. Well, credit Braylon gave us that time for uh, stepping in. With the help defense taking the charge. Not an easy thing to do when you're trying to uh, set up in transition defense. But that's a big time play by the junior that keeps the lead at eight. Now Salina will have a chance to extend it once again. It's the first foul. Committed by Craddock. Bulldogs with 30 seconds here in the first quarter. Leading by eight. Gabus for three. No. And an offensive foul called against Salina. Well, that time Salina maybe just a little bit too aggressive going to the offensive glass. Carter Allstetter called for the foul. That's the first foul committed by Salina with 25 seconds to go here in this quarter. And they'll sub out Allstetter in exchange for Nathan Rammel. 25 seconds. Bath has the basketball. Conceivably the final shot if they'd like it. Cole Craddock, high right point, backs back out with 15. Gives to Drake Craddock. He'll hold for a moment with 10. Guarded by Braylon Gavis. Drake Craddock, top of the key. Cole Craddock, three blocked. A three on the way at the horn. Good if it goes, it doesn't by Trey Crawford. And we played one quarter of basketball. Salina leads 14 to 6 over Bath, led by 10 points from Braylon Gavis here in the first quarter on WOSN. Back here at Paulding High School, where the Solana Bulldogs have a 14 to six lead over the Bath Wildcats. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Salina begins the quarter with the basketball, and things went really well for them offensively in the first quarter, Scoop. They really did. They got a lot of touches in the paint. They did a great job of, of getting everybody involved. They also got some points from their defense. They also did a great job of rebounding. And there's a great start uh, to the second quarter. They were able to find uh, Caden Wernst there on the backdoor cut. But once again, the lead hits double digits here for the Bulldogs. Bath trying to respond. Drake Craddock, high right point, holds. Fires into the far corner. Cole Craddock, jump stops in the lane. No, got his own offensive rebound, though, in the near corner. Mish Barr, rockets a pass, poked out of play by Caleb Davis. Just a heads up, I don't know, he didn't have a, any way of knowing that ball was coming to him, but he just stuck his hand out, tipped it out of play. 
Wildcats inbound. Cole Craddock in the near corner. Double teamed. Dribbles out of it. Tightly pressured. Long cross-court pass as Crawford thought about backing up. Instead, finds a wide open Mitch Barr for his first basket of the evening. Oh, what a great find by the junior Trey Crawford that time. Great dribble penetration. Drew the double team. Nice bounce pass there across the lane. Big hoop there. Salinas pass nearly stolen away. Goes in the backcourt. It's loose. He had a jump ball called, and it points towards Bath once more. Salina uh, wanted a timeout there. Adam Johns calling for it. You saw the official shake his head saying that you didn't, you didn't have the basketball. Yeah, and I love what Adam Johns did there. In fact, a lot of times a guy might get that call, but a great uh, jump ball call there by veteran official Austin Cape there, uh, realizing there was no possession there. Well, and it's really kind of an official's instinct, isn't it, when you hear timeout to just blow that whistle? you got to fight that a little bit. Yeah, that's why I love that call by uh, Austin Cape there. That's just a tough thing to do, and uh, I've seen so many guys kind of get bailed out on some of those balls that uh, neither team really has control of. Bulldogs back the other way after the main bucket from Bath. Poked out of play as Caden Wurst went to the hoop. So re the Bulldogs retain possession. Hell inbound, baseline left. 6.35 to go here in his second quarter. 16-8 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Lobbed in to Worst on the left side. Braylon Davis patiently brings it back near, but inside the center circle. Gives to Worst. Carter Allstetter holds, bounces to Caleb Davis. Bulldogs flare off a screen to Duncan. Gives right back to Davis. Caleb Gabus will give it up to Duncan. Poked, or I don't know what happened there. Tried to get rid of it and just stuck to his hand a little bit. Long possession for Salida. Six minutes to go here in his first half. Step back, free throw line floater. Well short from Braylon Gabus. Lands in the hands of Drake Craddock. He'll race up the floor. Left side of the lane in the near corner. Crawford bounces. Cole Craddock, Drake Craddock left wing. Free throw line. Throws back out. Cole Craddock for three. Knew it was off the mark after he let it fly. Tried to chase down a rebound. Couldn't. Here come the Bulldogs. Caleb Gavis stripped in the lane. Ball's loose. But a foul committed by Bath. Oh, that's a tough break because initially they got a clean tip on it and it looked like Bath was going to come up with it. But then a little push there from behind. It really was unnecessary. It's going to allow Salina to retain possession. So that's the third foul committed by Bath. 5.34 remaining. Still no Lee's famous recipe free throw shot for either squad here. As the Bulldogs look to inbound. Holding. Lob. Scooped up by Braylon Gabus between the circles. 5.30 to go in the first half. Bulldogs lead 16-8. So line of patient offensively. Making Bath defend every inch of the floor as it's nearly stolen away. Nope, nope, they'll say it goes to Bath on the errant dribble there by Salina. Well, right now, I really love the tenacity we're seeing from Bath on the defensive end. It's just a matter of time before they get some shots to go. So right now, the defense really has to keep uh, Bath in it here within striking distance. Wildcats bring it to the near side as Cole Craddock's jumper affected. And a long baseball outlet pass. Braylon Gabus, right side of the lane. Floater, no. Caleb Gabus, the offensive rebound. Triple teamed, turn around, put back, got the hoop and the foul. Oh, what a hustle play by Caleb Gabus that time. That's really a rebound he had no business getting. He was able to get through a couple uh, Wildcat defenders there on that back side. And not only did he get the offensive rebound, he gets the put back in the end one. So that's a huge play. Once again, Salina able to extend that lead Back to double digits. And uh, one free throw coming up here for Ka Caleb Gavis. And that's the first Lee's Famous Recipe free throw sh for either squad. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, a home style, happens here. Gavis makes the free throw. He's got five points on the evening. And that grows the lead to 19-8. Back out to double figures for Salina. We'll give a little token pressure at a backcourt now. Bath gets it across the timeline. Mitch Barr holds it. And he'll get rid of it to Cole Craddock. 
Drake Craddock near side, isolated on this side of the floor. From the left side, can't hit with the right hand, and a rebound secured by the Bulldogs. Raylan Gabus between the circles. Gives right to Caleb Gabus. He's isolated over here. Instead, he'll give back to Braylon. Under four and a half to go in this first half. Caleb Gabus gets rid of it. It's to Landon Ackley. Caden Warrens came off a screen. Instead, they'll get it to Caleb Gabus off the screen for three, off the heel. Bath wants to run momentarily as Markley gives up to Cole Craddock. Back to the basket, hands off to Drake Craddock, tightly pressured, left elbow. Euros in the lane, off the mark, rebound, pulled down by Razavir. So 19 to 8 to score, 345 to go. Razavir back to the basket, hands off to Wernst. Free throw line will pull back out, bounces to Razavir. Baseline. In the lane, triple teamed, stolen away. Loose basketball scooped up by Jackson Foster. Brings it across the timeline. Hands off to Markley. He'll drive to the high post. Jump stops, kicks back out to Drake Cole Craddock. Bar left side. Craddock at the free throw line. And a charge call. And once again, tremendous uh, half-court defense by the Salina Bulldogs. That time, Lyman Bath just no place to go, trying to create off the dribble. But to credit uh, Braylon gave us that time. He stepped in there, took a nice charge there. And that's a big play. That's going to be the fifth uh, team foul on Lima Bath. Meanwhile, Salina was just one, so Salina needs to keep things going their direction here. They've been the aggressor. They're doing all the little things, but right now they'd love to get some separation here as we near the uh, final three minutes here of this opening half. Yeah, it feels like Salina just has had the basketball for the overwhelming majority here of the first half where they've just been patient. Um, they've made Bath work for every defensive stop they've gotten, and they've worked offensively tightly as well as that one's nearly stolen away. Xavier Tickle dribbled it on the end line. Well, you're exactly right, Garrett, and I think that's one of the reasons why Bath has been less successful at the offensive end. They've really had to use a lot of energy at the defensive end just to try to get stops against this very patient uh, Bulldog offense. Braylon Davis left elbow. Ackley for three, drops it in. Yeah, that's a great uh, set once again there by Salina. They're going inside out. They're attacking the rim, and that time they recognize the double team inside. The nice kick out pass. Nice three. And now uh, Salina enjoying their largest lead here of the opening half here at 14 points. Looking for a stop. Foster between the circles. Crosses over. Bounces to Barr with his back to the basket at the left elbow. He'll spin at the left block. And a blocking foul committed by Ackley. Now that's what Bath has to do right there. They have to find ways to attack the rim. They've been doing way too much kind of east and west. They've had a few live ball turnovers from that. It's hurt them. They've also taken uh, some deep threes. And now they'll get an opportunity uh, as Mitch Barr steps to the uh, foul line to shoot a pair. 55% free throw shooter from the Lee Sandwich Recipe free throw line. Got the first one to go. Barr now with three points. Wildcats will make a substitution as Trey Crawford will come back in the game for Jackson Foster. The 6'1 sophomore takes a seat on the bench. You know, Garrett's been really amazing. You know, Salina for being a team that's lost eight consecutive games. How much confidence and energy they're using right now. Just a very uh, confident team right now. It's really kind of winning the 50-50 balls, doing the little things well. Pair of free throws there for Mitch Barr. Davis, corner three, no. Offensive rebound secured by Ackley. Kicks back out top of the key. Caleb Davis for triple, no. And a rebound, still loose, lands in the hands of Carter Allstetter off the window. Got it to go, his first basket. Grows that lead back to 14 with two minutes to go in the half. Another hustle play there by the Bulldogs. That time they got three offensive opportunities there after the uh, couple offensive rebounds and Allstetter there. Great finish, gets the lead back to 14. Good check out there by the Bulldogs. And now they look to push and transition. Step back, triple, or step back, free throw line jumper, I should say, from Tickle. Was off the mark. Bulldogs look to grow their lead. Braylon Gabus back to Ackley. Into that far corner to Caleb Gabus. He'll drive baseline. Got the defender off guard. Got the hoop and the foul. 
Now, tremendous uh, read that time by Kalem Gabus. You know, that time, Bath locked in man-to-man, -man, very aggressive, so you're not going to have as much help. And once he saw that he had that left baseline to himself, he took it. And wow, what a strong finish there off the window. And again, this Salina team just plays with so much energy right now. They're doing a yeah. great job of attacking the rim. They've had so many touches inside. Now they got a chance to uh, hit their largest lead of the night here. That free throw rims out. Rebound uh, to Tickle. He'll bring it up, trailing by 16. So can't convert the old-fashioned three-point play, but it is the largest lead of the evening for Salina. So they've come on here in the second portion of the, the back half of the second quarter. Bath dribble out of the double team. Crawford has it on the far sideline. Hands off the bar. He'll pick it up. And save your tickle. Works to the top of the key. Gives back to Barr. One minute remaining in this opening half. 26-10. Salina with the lead over Bath. Wildcat basketball. Bounce pass. Back door. Kicks back straight away. Crawford for three. Blocked. Got it right back though. Tickle will step up and let one fly. Can't hit the three. Rebound pulled down by Wernst. And the Bulldogs have been told to slow it down with 40 seconds. Yeah, I like this move right now. You know, they're up 16. Now, plus, they're going to get the ball to start the third quarter. So, you know, look for a very high percentage shot. If you don't get it, make sure you take the last shot of the half and keep all the momentum on your side here. Bulldogs will hold with 20. Braylon Gavis gets it right back after the pass. Wernst. Center circle gives to Caleb Gavis left of the center circle with under 10 to go. At the top of the key with five. Tries to get past the defender. He's called for the charge. First foul committed by Caleb Gavis. Just the second by Salina here in the half. Well, that's a big time play by Drake Craddock that time. Uh, drawing that charge. You know, the officials have been very consistent uh, given that call to the defense. So that time. Craig did a great job getting set, drew the contact, and now Bath will get one last chance here with 2.9. Craddock at the half-court strike, lets it fly, left it just a little short, and that'll do it for the first half of play. Salina holds Bath to four points in the second quarter, and they lead 26-10 to 10 at the halftime break. We'll step aside and come back with third quarter action here in this sectional semifinal on WOSN. Second half about to get underway. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Salina leads 26-10 here at the halftime break. And Garrett C. Wright joined alongside Scoop Miller. And Salina coming off eight straight losses. Bass lost five in a row. Bulldogs came out with a ton of confidence there in that first quarter, put 14 points on the board, and then propelled themselves to a 16-point lead here at the halftime break. Yeah, not only did they play with a lot of confidence, but they executed very well. You know, they just were... Excellent there in the half-court offense, being patient. They tried to get break opportunities. They didn't get it. But here's an early steal here by Bath. And a nice run out and an end one as Trey Crawford gets the steal and the run out. And a great start to Bath. You know, that was the one thing Salina coach Adam Johns talked to him prior, was concerned about was those live ball turnovers mm -hmm. that end up in points at the other end. Well, that time uh, Bath was able to cash in. But uh, Salina, that first half, I thought did an excellent job of protecting the basketball, Garrett, and really limiting those type of buckets. And there you see the end one there by Crawford. And right now, uh, Salina has Bath doubled up 26-13. Six points down for Crawford after the made Lee's famous recipe free throw. Bulldogs go right back to work. Blocked from behind, those. Caleb Gabus tried to hit the runner. It's blocked by Bath and the Wildcats. Come back the other way. Cole Craddock meanders through the defense, out of bounds off of a Bulldog, and it will stay with the Wildcats. Oh, tremendous block by Jackson Foster, the 6-1 sophomore there to defensive end. So Bath now playing with a little bit of urgency on the defensive side of things, now trying to start out on a mini run here to get back in this ballgame. Crawford into right wing. 
Wildcats working around a perimeter. Cole Craddock for three. No, got his own long rebound, though. Goes right back to the window. Drops it in for his first basket of the evening. And just like that, the Bulldogs have trimmed the lead, or excuse me, the Wildcats have trimmed the lead to 11. Yeah, great job there by Cole Craddock. I think he has to stay with it. He has a tough first half. Didn't get shots to go down. And I thought he started maybe looking to dish a little bit more. But I think he needs to play downhill or really put pressure on that line of defense here. Landon Ackley on the left wing. One minute gone in this third quarter. Jumper off the mark from Davis. He's fouled, and he will go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Well, that time the aggressiveness kind of hurt uh, Lima Bath that time. The fact that they're forcing a tough contested shot, but the last thing you want to do is foul a jump shooter, and that's exactly what they did. So now Braylon Gabus, who had 10 points in that opening half, will head to the foul line to shoot two. First one kicks off the back of the iron. Our free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Second free throw attempt, that one's good for Braylon Gabus, giving him 11 points, which is his season average. And the lead is now 12 for Salida at 27-15. Cole Craddock thought about the right wing three, instead gives up the Drake Craddock, gets a screen from Foster, and works back between the circles. He'll direct traffic. Gets to Drake Craddock. Cole Craddock, I beg your pardon. Right down Main Street. Up high off the glass and drops it home. And he's got four third quarter points. Ah, great job there by Cole Craddock uh, making the curl move. And they were going to have a block there in transition defense by the Wildcats. And once again, uh, Salina heading back to the foul line. This time it will be Caleb Gavis, who has seven points, trying to stretch that lead. Bulldogs shoot 59% from the Lee Samus Recipe free throw line as a team. First one up and good for Caleb Davis. The junior averages 7.7 a contest. Now at 8. So number one shoots 63% by his lonesome from the line. Got them both. Lead is 12 with six and a half to go. Bath trying to scratch their way back in it. Foster nearly lost it. Step back between the circles. Throws right to Cole Craddock on the right wing. Gives left to Drake Craddock. Right elbow in the high post. Near corner. Barr pumped on the three. Drives baseline. It spins. Great positioning by Barr, but can't hit. And Braylon Gabus secures the rebound for Salina. Oh, tough break. A great move that time by the senior, Mitch Barr, but he just could not get it to uh, go down. That's a tough break as uh, the Wildcats have really come out aggressive attack in the rim here in the opening two minutes of this third quarter. Braylon Gabus left wing. Bulldogs working back around. And an offensive foul goes against Salina. 5.41 to play here in the third quarter. We'll come back with more third quarter action here on WOSN. Five forty-one to go here in the third quarter in this sectional semi-final. Between 12th seeded Salina, 11th seeded Bath, winner moves on to play Defiance as the Bulldogs are seated in the first couple of rows down to our left. Taking a look at the opponent they'll play on Friday night. Bath trails by 12. They're you know, working around the perimeter. Cole Craddock up and under, can't get the hoop and the harm. Instead, he'll step to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line for two. All right there, you can see why he was honorable mention uh, WBL this year. The fact that uh, when he plays downhill, he's a tough guard one on one. And right now, he's had an excellent uh, opening two and a half minutes here in the second half. And now he'll try to cut into that deficit. First one just can't quite get it to go. That thing tried and tried to go in say. there, Garrett, but uh, just did not have the right English on it. No, I couldn't have hit any more metal as Craddock will step back to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Can't hit that one either, and the score remains 29-17, a long outlet pass to Ackley on the left wing. Back to Braylon Gavis. He'll give to Caleb Gavis at the high right point. Salina had two fouls in the entire first half. They got three here in the first three minutes of the third quarter. Razavir kicks back out. Caleb Gavis 
in the lane. Floater, no, got his own offensive rebound, but stripped out of play, and it will remain with Salina. A tremendous take there by Caleb Gabus. He's a tough card, one-on-one, and, one, and uh, what a great effort there to get his own rebound. And now they'll get an extra possession here. Bulldogs inbound to Razevere in the lane. Double teamed, gets rid of it to Caleb Gabus. Got it up and in. We've got a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by the Bulldogs. We'll step aside as well. 31-17, Salina leads here on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 31-17, each time Bath has cut that lead down, Salina has somehow found an answer, Skip, Scoop. Yeah, Salina's done an excellent job of really just not taking any plays off. They've done an excellent job really at both ends, uh, trying to just... Uh, do the little things, outwork teams, and just try to win those uh, floor burn battles that we've seen them do all night. But, uh, you know, credit Bath. They came out, scored seven of the first ten points of that third quarter. Nearly stolen away there from Xavier Tickle. Instead, Wildcats retain possession as Cole Craddock has it on the left wing. His brother flashes across the paint. Tickle, right, left side jumper, no. Rebound, it goes out of play off the fingertips of Craddock, and we'll go to Salina. Yeah, Craddock Salina are doing an excellent job of not only contesting shots, but they're finishing those defense possessions by going hard to the defensive glass. And that time I saw four solid checkouts there by the Bulldogs. They end up getting a team rebound. They'll bring it up against uh, some pressure defense. They beat the pressure as Caleb Gabus gets it in the near corner instead. The Wild Bulldogs working around the perimeter. Braylon Davis holds, stripped for just a moment, throws right to Caden Wernst. The high right point to Caleb Davis, right in front of his own bench, under four to go here in this third quarter. Screen from Razorveer. Wernst dances around. Bulldogs back at the right wing. Davis gets rid of it. Jake Kanamke had a bucket there in the first half. Gives to Caleb Davis. Floater. Short. Offensive rebound by Isaac Razavir, and then he's called for the charge. Now we've seen uh, multiple charges tonight by both teams, yeah. and uh, that time uh, credit Trey Crawford did a great job of, of holding his ground there and selling the call. And that's a big stop there. Still plenty of time left. How much of that is a byproduct of knowing each other, playing in the same conference, that you know what guys are more likely to, to be a little out of control, quote unquote, offensively. Yeah, that, that's a great uh, point right there because that's something you're going to see in the scouting port. You know, this guy likes to spin off, off his uh, left shoulder, off his right shoulder, so things you can maybe anticipate a little bit. There's another fine checkout by the Bulldogs as they're able to uh, corral that uh, defensive rebound. And a good hustle play there by uh, Cole Craddock trying to get a steal in the backcourt. He tips it out of bounds. Line will retain possession. 3.15 to go in the third quarter, 31-17. Bulldogs with the lead in the backcourt. They get it across the timeline with Caden Warrenston into the near corner. Caleb Davis thought about the three, now will drive baseline. Long pass into that far corner. Braylon Davis for three, got another bucket for the junior. He's got 14 points here this evening. Yeah, what a night uh, for the Davis twins. They have 25 points here. Of the 34 scored by the Bulldogs, they've single-handedly outscored Bath here tonight. That's the largest lead of the evening for Salina at 17, 34-17. 2.30 to go here in this third quarter. Caleb Gabus, wide wing, directing traffic. Braylon Gabus on the left side, rises, fires, short. Cole Craddock secures a loose basketball. Wildcats between the circles. Markley leaves it off for Drake Craddock. Brings to the free throw line. Cole Craddock near corner three. No. And the Bulldogs fight with each other for the rebound. It goes out of bounds off the guys in green. Yeah, that's a tough break. little miscommunication there by Salina. They had the positioning. They had two guys there. Either one could have secured that rebound. 
But that time they kind of fought each other and they ended up knocking it off each other out of bounds. Bath inbounds to Jackson Foster for three. He'll splash one in. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Bath. We'll step aside as well. 2.06 to go in the third quarter. Salina leads by 14 here on WOSN. Tonight's timeout's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 34-20, Salina leads, 2.06 to go on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Our scoreboard presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Bulldogs go the length of the floor. They get it in. Ray here. I don't think that was the way they drew it up, but instead they'll bounce to Ackley in the short corner on the near side. And he'll get rid of it. Jake Kanapke. Bulldogs work around the perimeter. Caleb Gabus back to Braylon Gabus between the circles. It's a screen. Throws back right. Gabus, free throw line. Caleb Gabus left side to the window, drops it in. Caleb Gavis, 13 points this evening. Oh, what a big time move once again by Caleb Gavis. Playing with so much confidence, playing downhill. He now has 13 points, just one behind his twin brother. Cole Craddock off the window, tough shot. Made it look easy to the sophomore. Well, Craddock starting to attack the rim a little bit more here in the second half. Ackley for three, got one in the first half, can't get that one. Braylon Gavis, the offensive rebound and put back. Well, Braylon Gavis has been big all night, and that time he's able to get a rebound. He really had no business getting yeah. and gets the easy put back. Foster for three, no. Long rebound. Thrown back into play by Gavis off the fingertips of Razavir. Bar, Foster into the far corner. Craddock, three, no. And a rebound. And a foul committed by Caleb Gavis. Yeah, excellent call that time by veteran official Joe Allen. Uh, caught uh, Caleb Gavis there. A uh, little push there in the back going for that uh, rebound. So Caden Worms back in the game. Barr bounces into Cole Craddock on the right wing. To the free throw line. In the mid post. Scoop shot. No. Ackley the rebound. 40 seconds remain for the Bulldogs. And Braylon Gavis will slowly walk the ball up the floor. So this is what I like about Salina tonight. They're playing so intelligent. You know, when they have break opportunities, they've taken it. But when they haven't, they haven't forced a shot. They've gotten in the half court set. They've really made Bath expend a lot of energy in the defensive half court. And now they'll just try to either play for the layup or take the last shot. Ball's loose. Bath scoops it up. Ball's still loose. Foster gets it up. Cole Craddock left block. Has to adjust his shot. Salina pulls down a rebound. Stripped by Barr. Out of play. And then a... Could assume a technical foul. I think the officials wanted to make sure they saw what they saw correctly. And they'll just call it a common foul. Nope, they get do. They give a technical foul. A land in Ackley. You saw Mitch Barr just go flying. So at 5.1 to go in the third, Ackley called for the technical foul. Yeah, that's an excellent call there once again by veteran official Tyson Schnick. He uh, got it right, and uh, that's a break for Bath. Now they'll get a couple free throws, plus they'll get the basketball back after the technical foul, and then they'll get the ball to start the fourth quarter. So right now you want to cash in on the freebies. That one from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line off the back iron. Bar, a 55% free throw shooter. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Second free throw attempt is up and good by the senior. He's got five. And as Scoop mentioned, Wildcats will have the basketball. With five seconds to go, trailing by 15 here in this third quarter. Yeah, this could be big if they can execute here and get the ball to start the fourth quarter. Cole Craddock across the timeline with two. Foster, step back three at the horn. Good if it goes off the front iron, and we play three. 38-23, Salina the lead. 
here after three on WOSN. Fourth quarter about to get underway in the sectional semifinal. Salina leads 38-23 over the Bath Wildcats. I'm here at Seawright, joined alongside with Scoop Miller. And when you take a look at the Bulldogs tonight, even scoring from the Gavis brothers. Braylon 14, Caleb 13. But Bath trying to claw back in. Got a couple of points here at the end of that third quarter to make it 38-23. Wildcats working around the perimeter. Straight Craddock holds between the circles. Mitch Barr right wing. Backdoor cut. Craddock. Cole Craddock high off the window. Up and good. He's got a, a great find by Mitch Bear there. Again with that aggressive slide of defense. It sometimes uh, creates some backdoor scenarios. We saw it right there. Good start here in the fourth quarter by the Wildcats. 38-25. Each squad with four Metzger Financial Services timeouts in their pocket should they want them. As Jake Kanapke in a tight spot gets rid of it. Carter Allstetter back to the basket at the left elbow. Bounces back to Landon Ackley at the high left point. Miscommunication and an errant pass from Salina. Turns it over with 7.04 to go. Well, the Wildcats are still playing hard at the defensive end. They've just not been able to uh, really turn Salina over. And that time Salina does make kind of a rare turn of the night. But uh, Bath needs those live ball turnovers that can quickly turn into points and will allow them to set up some full court pressure defense. Wildcats, Cole Craddock, left side, crosses over, jump stops, left block. He's fouled. And that is the sixth team foul, maybe the seventh. That is the seventh team foul committed by Salina, the fourth. Well, that alone tells Carter you Olstetter. the difference here in Lima Bath, the first half, the second half. The first half, Salina only had two team fouls there in the opening 16 minutes. So this tells yeah. you that uh, the Wildcats are starting to play much more aggressively playing downhill, but they still have struggled to get shots to go. So until they can maybe string together a few shots together, they're going to be fighting this up here battle like they have really from the opening minutes on. Cole Craddock back at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Hits the second. He's got nine. 12 point lead for the Bulldogs. Ackley along the near sideline. Bath trying to force a turnover. Braylon Gabus, right block, spins, stripped, and it's stolen away by Jackson Foster. And what a play by Mitch Bear there to uh, strip Gabus. It's stolen away by the Bulldogs. Back the other way, Landon Ackley ends up with the loose basketball. Caleb Gabus in the lane, floats off the backboard, got it to go, and he's got 15. A ah, great take by Caleb Gabus, and just what a great heads-up play, avoiding the charge, pulling up there. Jackson Foster for three, his second three-pointer, and a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Bath. We'll step aside as well, 6.13 to go here in the fourth. Wildcats have trimmed the lead to 11 on WOSN. Timeouts tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Out of the Metzger Financial Services timeout, Bath has cut the lead to 11, which is uh, about as close as they've got this lead since the, about the midway point of the second quarter. You're exactly right. You know, remember, they fell behind 14-3. They did get it to 14-6, to but it's been double digits uh, really for the last uh, nearly 20 minutes. So... They're still battling. They just need a couple big plays from the defense. And they need to string together a couple big shots. But we saw Jackson Foster just bury that deep three. So maybe that's a sign of things to come here for Lima Bath. Salina gets out of a tough spot. Stolen away by Cole Craddock. Back the other way to the window. Drops it in. And the lead is now nine. Well, that's huge. Anytime you get points from your defense, you're going to make some things happen. Bulldogs across the timeline as Bath pressures. Caden Wernst gives to Caleb Gabus, and now Salina will slow things down momentarily. He'll hold. 
Wernst to Braylon Gabus, 16 points. In the high post, stripped, and a foul committed by Bath. Yeah, I love the aggressiveness from Bath, and that time it just kind of got caught there. They thought they might get away with one on the arm there. It was going to lead to a run out, but uh, excellent call there. But only the uh, third team foul there on the Wildcats. So they can still stay aggressive here with three fouls to give here in the final five and a half minutes. Wernst, the top of the key. Ackley, corner three. Off the front iron, long rebound secured by Cole Craddock. Races through the Salina D. Blocked, got it right back though. Mitch Barr, straight away. Drake Craddock works to the free throw line. Gives back to Trey Crawford. He'll give up to Cole Craddock. Drake Craddock, I beg your pardon. And Barr between the circles as we approach five minutes to go. Jackson Foster hit a three here earlier in this fourth quarter. Hands off to Drake Craddock. Throws right to Cole Craddock. Drake Craddock for three, looking for his first bucket of the night. Got it. And the lead has shrunk to six after the Bulldogs led by 15 to start the quarter. Oh, great set again by Bath. They're very patient, moved the basketball around, got a couple reversals, and they're able to catch and shoot in rhythm. And don't look now, the lead down to six. Ackley from behind, got rid of it. Caden Wernst, high right point, can still put it on the deck, does. Picks it up. Throws back to Gabus, right of the center circle. Six-point lead for Salida, 40-34. They won 44-40 against Bath on January 20th. They've lost eight straight since then. Isaac Razavir bounces to Wernst at the high left point. Braylon Gabus in the lane, floats, hits. Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Salina. We'll take it with them midway point of the fourth quarter. We got a dandy here in Paulding on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 4.02 to go in this sectional semifinal. Winner moves on to play Defiance here Friday night. Salina led by 15 to start the quarter. Bath looking to shrink that lead as they now trail by eight after the floater by Braylon Gabus. Cole Craddock on the left side, crosses over in the high post. Bar for three. Off the heel, and a rebound pulled down by Jake Kanapke, and then a foul committed quickly by Bath. Yeah, that's a big rebound by Jake Kanapke. That's one thing Salina's done very well tonight, uh, eliminating those second-chance points opportunities for Bath. And when you're struggling shooting the basketball, that's one way to kind of jumpstart the offense. But uh, credit to Salina. They've done an excellent job of really controlling the glass at both ends here tonight. Braylon Gabus nearly had it stolen away. It's loose. It's stolen away by Craddock. One on three. Off the window. Got it home somehow from a tough angle. And Cole Craddock's got 13. Yeah, he's really stepped up here in the second half. Uh, starting to take it to the rack. We talked about he's starting to play downhill. And that's really sparked this comeback here by the Wildcats. Once again, they get it down to six. 42-36. Gabus somehow keeps it in the front court. Caleb Gabus, Euros, right hand floater, no, rebound pulled down by Logan Markley. And as we approach the three minute mark to go, Bath can shrink this even more. Get it down as low as three possibly. Craddock spins at the free throw line, hands off to Foster between the circles. Cole Craddock on the right wing to Drake Craddock. Holds, gives right back to Cole Craddock. Off the screen, in the post, throws it off the window. No, works the rebound for Salina. Now credit Salina once again, do an excellent job of getting to the defensive glass, not allowing those second chance opportunities. 2.30 to go. Six point lead for the Bulldogs. High ball screen, and Cole Craddock commits the foul. Now that's going to be the third foul on Cole Craddock. It's also going to be team foul number five, I believe. So right now the Wildcats still with one foul to give, so you have to continue to play aggressive, 
They need some points from that defense here. Just a two-possession game, so play solid here. Make sure you control the rebounds to be efficient on offense. Bulldogs get it to Ackley at the right elbow. Braylon Gabus tries to drive baseline, cut off by Foster. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Salina. 2-10 to go. We'll keep it here on the 30-second timeout. 42-36. Bath has climbed back into this one where they have just ratcheted up that pressure defensively scoop, and it's been uh, it's been tough sledding here for Salina as they uh, have only scored four points here in this third quarter, fourth quarter. Yeah, credit to uh, Bath. You know, they've had a tough season. They had a disastrous first quarter night. They've been yeah. really climbing an uphill battle, but they have not thrown in the towel. They continue to play. And credit to Salina coach Adam Johns, their smart timeout. They picked up the dribble on the baseline. They were being denied all over the court. You know, you can't take your timeouts with you. That time it probably saves a turnover. And now uh, Salina will take it out of bounds here, trying to uh, protect this six-point lead. Bulldogs led 14-6 after 1-26-10 at the break and 38-23 to start the fourth quarter. It's now a six-point game as Braylon Gabus rises, fires, hits, and the foul. Wow, it's just been incredible what Braylon Gabus has done tonight, and now he has 20 points. Looking for number 21 here on the end one, but... Uh, Wow, just the scoreboard really says it all. 44 for Salina, 36 for Bath, and 35 for the Gavis Twins here tonight. 2.03 to go at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Gavis drops it in. He's got 21 free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Bath now trails by nine, 45-36. Cole Craddock, right wing. Foster, it's a screen, gives off to Drake Craddock. Steps back behind the three-point line as Cole Craddock jumps to the free throw line, kicks back. Drake Craddock for three, wide of the bucket, and that'll go out of play. Oh, tremendous half-court man-to-man defense by the Bulldogs. They're doing a great job of staying in front and forcing everything over the top, and that time they forced a long three. It ends up being a team rebounds. That ball hit the end line before it could be saved. Approaching 90 seconds to go. 45-36. Bulldogs look to get an inbounds. Do. Raylan Gabus in the backcourt. Bath pressuring in the full court. Wernst near sideline. Cross court pass to Ackley. He'll hold, put it on the deck, nearly stolen away by Barr. Out of play off his left fingers. Yeah, Miss Barr done an excellent job for the Wildcats tonight in the defensive uh, end. Not only getting a few steals, but uh, many deflections. Almost had a steal right there. Salina Fortune to get that ball back. Caleb Davis gets the inbounds pass, gets past Craddock, jump stops the right block, throws back. To Braylon Gavis finds a wide open Jack Kanap Jake Kanapke, I beg your pardon. He's got four, and the lead grows to 11 as we approach one minute to go. A uh, great assist by uh, Gavis that time to spot Kanapke all alone there in that backside. Bath trailing by 11, have to move quickly. Cole Craddock contested three, short, falls loose. Thrown back into play by Salina, and the Bulldogs have the basketball with 40 seconds to go. Mitch Barr will foul, and the Salina faithful start to make a little noise with 41 seconds to play. Yeah, credit Salina. You know, after uh, Bath got it within a couple possessions there, they've answered now with a 5-0 run, and now Braylon gave us a chance to extend this lead here. Gavis, an all-Western Buckeye League honorable mention performer. Average is 11 and a half. He's at 21 as he steps back to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Can't hit the front end of the one and one, so the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard remains 47-36. Wildcats moving quickly. Foster, no. Rebound comes down. Wernst fouled. And that will shoot one in the front end of the one and one once more from the least famous recipe free throw line. 
Well, that time they got a good look in transition from Jackson Foster, who's been very effective beyond the arc tonight. But that one just catches the back of the iron, rims out. Salina once again comes up with a big defensive rebound. Free throw is made by Caden Wernst. Scoreboard tonight presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. It says 48-35, 36, now it says 49-36. Wildcats come back quickly the other way. Barr kicks to Foster straight away. Cole Craddock, baseline drive into the far corner. Barr has time to set up for three. No. Rebound secured by Salida. And looks like that's going to do it. They'll get it across the timeline. And Salida had lost eight straight. Their last win was against Bath on January 20th. And they'll take down the Wildcats tonight. 49-36. The final score. Bulldogs got out to a 16-point halftime lead before Bath shrunk it to as little as six here in the fourth quarter. But Salina pulls away to win 49-36. And Scoop, when you take a look at the ball game tonight, uh, Braylon Gavis and Caleb Gavis really showed out for the Bulldogs and I think are kind of the difference in the, in the game tonight. Yeah, they just have made their presence felt at both ends, I thought, from the opening tap on. And, uh, you know, credit this Salina team. You mentioned it. Garrett, they lost eight in a row, but they look like anything but a team that came in on an eight-game losing streak. They play with so much confidence, and they pick up a very impressive win tonight to advance to Friday night's championship right here at Paulding High School against the Defiance Bulldogs to start at 6 o'clock. Braylon gave us 21 points in a victory for Salon tonight. Caleb gave us 15. Uh, Bath was led in scoring by Cole Craddock tonight, 13 points in the the loss. So that will do it for us here in Paulding. Salina wins 49-36 over the Bath Wildcats. As Scoop said, Salina moves on to play the Defiance Bulldogs back here in the sectional finals on Friday night. So for our fantastic WOSN crew, Mia and Megan and Scoop, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.